Okay, Angela, let's take a look here and see what we can do in order to get your spacing fixed up on here. Uh, let me see here. Here is the original. So we got, oh, maybe five so uh, pixels in between there. And so here, here is what you were working on, and you got a few too many. So let's just go into here and see what we got. So all I did so far is I uh, created a new section, made the background blue just so it looked like the other one, dropped in a two column row and put in an input on the left and the button on the right. So first thing we can do here to tighten this up is we can come into the row and let's skinny up that row a little bit because it doesn't need to be that wide. So let's just Let's say we're going to bring it down to 70. And then one thing I noticed is that this is a lot bigger. The input is a lot bigger than the button is. And so let's give that side a little bit more room. And we do that by grabbing the middle bar. We're going to pull it over. And let's just say that that's good enough. Now, the input, there's no way you can move this left or right, but in the button, I'm pretty sure we can. So let's just click on the button. We should be able to float this to the left. Let me see. I think it's at the bottom. Yep. Here we go. So we're floating that button to the left. Now, again, we still have a bunch of room here and because there's padding on either side. So let's go into our settings for the row and let's take a look at that. We got 10 here, but this should be on the outside. Uh, so let's see what that does. See, that's not going to do anything, but we'll still set that down to zero. But then we can come into our columns because there's not going to be any padding on either side of these elements that we can affect inside of click funnels and so let's come into our columns and we're going to go to our first column and we'll probably oh no nope, we have actually no padding here at all and then let's go into the second column i suspect we will also have zero padding there and we also have zero padding here. But what we can do is go into advanced. And this works sometimes and it doesn't work sometimes. So we'll just see what we can do here. Uh, right now we have side margin. But again, it's 175. So that's telling me that's outside margin here. So let me just see what we got. Yeah, see if we move this. I don't think that's going to do anything. But we can do negative margin. See, that 175 was actually reflecting the outside margins, but it was not reflecting the margins of the column. So just be careful when you come into these columns. A lot of times the numbers will say something, but it's not actually what it's really set at. So what we can try here is let's try some negative margin, and that seemed to work. Let's, uh, let's just make this negative 20 margin. And that seemed to pull it over very nicely. And that alone may have um, fixed our problem. Normally, what I would do at this point is I would have jumped in. I would have done some custom CSS. But as long as that negative margin is working inside of the column, you can just do it right inside of there without having to mess with the CSS. So I think that's the simplest way to fix it. If you got any questions, just let me know.